Tech guy and Sammy showing you how to get Cinema 4D R16 for free. Um, this gives you all the features of the paid for version and it works really well. There's also no viruses, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but first off, what you gotta do is download this from this Mediafire link. Um, you also need some kind of extractor like WinRAR, 7-Zip, or if you have Windows 8 or Windows 10, um, I don't think it comes with Windows 7 though, you, it comes with an extractor so you can use that. But let's go and click download, it's going to start downloading it, but I'm going to cancel this because I already have it downloaded, as I'll go and show you here. Um, you can either open it after it gets on downloading down here, or you can go into your default downloads location, which is for me in my downloads folder. And then, now what you got to do is find that raw file and then click extract to C4D, um, yeah, whatever that says, just extract there. And if you're using the default um, extractor that Windows comes with, then just click right click and click extract all. And it should work the same. And then we'll start extracting it, it won't take very long. And you just gotta wait for that. Now once it gets done, you're gonna have another folder here, as you can see, go into it. And then now, you can go ahead and close your internet browser if you want to. Um, now what you gotta do is go into this reddest folder right here, and you gotta make sure you have this downloaded. Uh, you can just right click and click install, and then click run. And then click next. Um, right here, yours won't say this, but what you gotta do is just click next and then click install, and it's as easy as that. Some kind of um, graphics thing, I think, for Cinema 4D that you need. Yeah, so just make sure you have that downloaded, which I already have mine downloaded, so yeah. Then you can click finish. Now, um, go into the Keygen folder, and then click on this right here, then click run, and click OK. This is where you're gonna get your key from, um, and you can go and generate it if you want to, so you just click. Um, yeah, you just keep everything the same. It should be standard license Cinema 4D R16 Studio, and then just click Generate. Um, it's going to copy it to your um, clipboard, as you can see, and then you can just paste it after you go into Cinema 4D. And now what you got to do to go into Cinema 4D is go back and then go to the Cinema 4D R16 folder, and then you got to find at Cinema 4D.exe, or it'll probably just see Cinema 4D. Double click on it and click Run. Mine's gonna open up like this, but yours at the beginning will ask for a serial key and name and stuff. But I'm going to open up for you so you can see um, personalized here. So it'll be this screen right here whenever you open it up and you won't have this back here. What you gotta do is type in some fake information. I put my actual name, but I didn't put my last name. Just type in some fake information. You don't have to put in the company name. Put in like a random street, a random city, even though it's not a real city or a real country. But just put in random stuff. And then what you gotta do is click paste. It'll put in a CD key for you and then click OK. And then it should open up for you and should, you should be able to use it. It's really that easy. Um, yeah, I didn't think it would work either. I figured the serial key um, generator would have been some kind of virus, but it actually works, so that's really good. And if you want to also make a shortcut, I believe you can make a shortcut on your desktop. If you just go into that folder where Cinema 4D is, right click, click Send to Desktop, and that should work, hopefully, let's see. Yeah, so now you can double click it and open it from there. And you can also pin it to your taskbar if you want to. So yeah, it's really that easy. It's actually kind of surprising how easy it was to get this. And um, yeah, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like if this helped you. Leave me a suggestion of what I should do next. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.